신원이도 안고, 대니엘도 안고, everyone have a seat. And then close your eyes. Hands together. Let's talk to God. You can repeat after me. All right. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for your promise. Help us to listen. Help us to obey. We pray this in your name. Amen. All right. Very good. All right, everyone. It's time to go over the rules. Now we have our friend Gabby. Hi, everyone. How are you? All right. Do you guys remember the rules? Let's see who's following the rules. All right. Is everyone looking up? Who's looking up? Oh, almost everyone is looking up. All right. And also the first rule, I forgot. Why is the first rule? You guys are sitting up. Very good. You guys are all doing, following, obeying the rule. Very good. And then you guys have to look up. Look up, everyone. Everyone, look up. Look up. Use your eyes to look at the teacher who's talking in front. And then next rule, use your ears to listen up. Very good. Yeah, with your two ears, listen up. And then zip up. Yeah, God gave us two ears. And we have only one mouth. We have to listen twice as much better, right? All right, so zip up for now. And then use your hand if you have any question, all right? So use hand up. Very good. Piper, do you have a question? Yeah. You can talk a little bit later. All right, that's good. All right, everyone, I'm going to see who's following the rule, obeying the rule. The very best, all right? So I'm going to have a seat right here and then look who's doing the best job, all right? All right, so everyone, let's all stand up and sing our song. Take a look. There's that many Bibles, that many books in the Bible, all right? So there's a, the left section is the Old Testament, the right section is the New Testament. And inside this Bible, take a look. It's very, very small letters inside, right? There are 66 books, and today's memory verse live in the book of Psalms. Do you see the arrow? Yeah, the arrow points to the book of Psalms, right? Yeah, today's memory verse is from there. And then it has an address to it. All right, the first the letter, it says, um, there's two numbers, right? The first number is chapter number. So it is chapter Four. The next number is what? Three. What is that called? Three. Chapter. And inside a chapter, there's small three. verse. It's called a verse. All right. So chapter four, verse three. three. All right. So let's repeat this Psalm four three three times with a silent voice, small voice. When you're talking to your mom, maybe she's right, right next to you. So let's say it. Psalm four three. Silent voice three times. Ready? Go. Psalm. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. Alright, this time use your normal voice. Alright, normal voice when you're talking to your mom. Alright, so let's use your normal volume voice three times. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. Alright, this time let's use our loud voice. Mom and dad are far away. You want their attention. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. All right, very good. Is there any volunteer who will help me to find the verse? It's already in the bookmark. You can just, yeah. Daniel, you can come out and help me find the verse. I already put a bookmark on it, and I wrote down here. Psalm 4, 3. So you can just open it up. Yeah. One more page. And do you want to find where chapter 4 is? Chapter 4 is a big number that you see on the side. Did you find chapter 4? Where is number 4? Big number 4. Right there. And then find the verse 3. Where is verse 3? The small number inside of chapter 4. So starting from chapter 4, there is a small number. Do you see? 3 right here, right? Yeah, this is where our memory verse is. All right, very good. Good job. And it says, 
The Lord hears when I call to him. All right, so let's take a look at the first part. It says, the first part says, the Lord. Do you guys know what the Lord means? Yeah, the Lord is a special name when we call God or Jesus. So when we pray, sometimes adults pray, dear Lord, or Lord God, or Lord Jesus. So Lord means a one and true God that we pray to. The Lord is a creator. He made everything. He made, what, what did he make? On a count of three? Can you guys shout out? Earth. What he made? One, two, three. Earth. Yeah. Earth and go. You have to go party? Yeah, go out. You have to go to party. And a space. Yeah. Yes, Aiden. You can stand there and then you want to whisper? People. Yeah, very good. The Lord made everything, the sun and moon and stars, but the special, the most special thing that God made is a people, right? Yes, Ian. You can see it right there. See? Dinosaur. dinosaur. God made dinosaur, right? Piper. Yeah, you're very, very good at finding your mom and dad. Very good. The Lord means the one true God. And the Lord made you and the Lord loves you. And this Lord, so the next one says, oh, the Lord hears. All right? The Lord hears. And when you talk to him, he can hear. No matter how small your voice is, no matter how loud your voice is, the Lord hears. The last part says, when I call to him, all right? So when I call to him, call to, calling to him is talking to God. What does talking to God mean? Pray. Yeah, so the Lord hears when you talk to him or when you pray to him. It doesn't matter where you are because the Lord made everything. So the Lord, where your room is, and then the Lord made you. So how, what kind of voice you have? It doesn't matter. You can sometimes talk to God, pray to God with a normal voice. Sometimes some people, they are in a very hard situation. They cry out to the Lord. They shout to the Lord. And then sometimes we can just think the words that you want to pray to God. Just think about the words in your heart without even moving your mouth. The Lord hears, all right? And then the Lord hears no matter how far or near you think you are from God, right? So the Lord hears you when I call to him. So the Lord will hear you if you say that you have sinned, all right? What are some examples of sins? Yes, Andrew. Not cleaning up your room. You're not listening to your mom to clean up, right? Yes, Aiden. Yeah, hitting or punching people is an example of sin. Yes. Stealing is a sin, yeah. And also, uh, 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 when uh, uh, someone comes to your house and then it, it, someone fights over the toy and then it breaks, that's sin. It is sin because you're not using your care of care, right? And you have to be nice and gentle. Yeah, so God will hear you when you say that you have sinned. And God will hear you when you say to him that I, have, I believe in Jesus because he died on the cross to pay for my punishment. And then God will hear you when you say to him that you want to believe in Jesus as your Savior. All right? You can do that today. You can believe in Jesus as your Savior today. But if you are, Piper, can you wait a little bit? Yeah. But if you have already believed in Jesus as your Savior, then remember God wants you to talk to him no matter what happens to you. And God loves you when you praise to him. So when you are praising to him, like singing song, God loves it. And when God loves it when you are being thankful to him. When you say, thank you, God, he loves it. All right? So praying to God, praising God is one of the ways we can know God better. All right, so let's, let's repeat this verse together. From the um, address, we're going to do Psalm 4, 3. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord hears when I call to him. Let's do this with a small voice. All right, one time. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord hears when I call to him. All 
All right, let's use our normal voice. Very good. We can, yeah, let's end it with our address at the end too. Ready? Normal voice, ready, go. Psalm 4-3. The Lord hears when I call to him. Psalm 4-3. All right, this time, are you guys ready? Use your loudest voice to shout out memory verse together. Ready, go. Psalm 4-3. The Lord hears when I call to him. Psalm 4-3. All right. You can scream, but you have to recite the verse. All right? All right, this time, Isaac, do you have a, Ian, do you have a, something to comment? God made every animal, right? All the animals, even dinosaur. Yes, Piper. Yeah. You're very right. We always have to depend on mommy and daddy. But mommy and daddy always bring to bring you to a um, place where it's good for you, right? Michael All right. And Uzi and yeah, very good. All right. This time we're gonna start from. We, let's let's wait for our comment now. Lower your hand. Let's start from our small voice and then gradually increase our volume in our voice. All right. So let's start from the. Volume, so small, smallest voice, and then vocal, use your vocal calls. Very good. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord hears you when I call to him. Psalm 4, 3. Well, let's do that one more time. Start with using the smallest voice and then in increase it. All right, normal and louder. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord Hears when I call to him. Psalm 4 3. All right, this time I'm gonna teach you the clap, clap, and lap. All right, so let's do this. I don't know if it's gonna be hard for you, but it goes like this. Ready, go. Psalm 4 3. The Lord hears when I call to him. How's that? Is it confusing? Let's. No, let's do it one more time. Ready, go. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord hears when I call to Him. Yeah, very good. All right. So God wants you to praise Him. So I'm going to teach you a song. It's, a, it's called the prayer song. You can always pray to God no matter where you are because it is a world that God has made and God knows where you are even though your mom and dad might not know where you are, right? So it goes like, I can pray, I can pray. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I can pray, I can pray anytime, anywhere. Praise the Lord and thank Him. Tell Him that I love Him every day, every day. Every day you can thank Him and pray to Him. So let's all stand up and sing this song together. <coughs> Did you guys ever, have you guys ever been very thirsty? Yeah? When are you thirsty? Especially when we come back from the Sunday school and you're playing games and then sing songs. Maybe you're running around and you get those so thirsty, right? But imagine there's no water when you're so thirsty. Have you ever felt that thirsty and without water? No. No, there was always a, but like for a limited time, like maybe for maybe 10 minutes or 5 minutes, have you been very thirsty? No. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, sometimes it's really hard. And we're going to learn about um, something. We're going to start a little bit today, all right? So there was a king called Ahab. King's name was, Piper, can you wait a little bit? So there was a king called Ahab. Can you guys repeat after me? King Ahab. King Ahab. Yeah, King Ahab, he lived about 3,000 years ago. It's from the Bible. And then when King Ahab was the king of Israel, there was a severe three year that it didn't rain at all. So it used to, it used to look like this, where there's a streams of water, and then the animals can go and drink the water, and there's trees having a root growing and leaves growing because of water and the sun. But because it hasn't been um, raining for three years, do you guys know what is that called when it's not raining? 
You can die if there's no water to drink, right? Um, it's called a drought. Yeah, California was in a severe drought, but it's a little bit getting better, right? Can you wait a little bit, Piper? Yeah, you can wait a little bit. <gasps> Take a look. The compare, it's the same picture, but without water for three years, the bottom picture. And this is King Ahab. And because there was no water, look at the stream that's all dried up. What would happen to the animals? Yeah, animals would not have any water to drink from, right? Even people. Yeah, that was when there's a um, normal weather. When it's raining, the bottom is when it was a drought. And it's talking about when there was a drought for three years, all right? Take a look at the trees. It's all, all dry, right? Yeah, but King Ahab, even the king had to go around and try to find the water, right? And then King Ahab could have done something. He could have, he should have prayed to God because he can always pray to God. But instead of praying to God, he was doing something else, all right? But we know we can pray to God when something happens to us, all right? So we're going to learn about that next week. But today, we have learned that God always hears us when we pray to him. So let's all repeat this Bible memory verse one more time. Ready? Go. Psalm 4, 3. The Lord hears when I call to him. All right, very good. All right, everyone all stand up and let's sing this song. Close your eyes, hands together. Let's pray. Let's pray. I'll pray, all right? Dear God, thank you so much for today. We have learned that you always listen listens to us. Help us to remember that you want us to pray to you. Help us to be thankful and help us to praise you. Thank you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone.